Hey baddies, welcome back to my channel. And as you saw on that thumbnail, y'all, we made it to one year. Kill the round of applause. <laughs> but no, y'all, in all seriousness, this is surreal. I feel like this happened really, really fast. It seems like just yesterday, I'm like, you know what? Let me start a YouTube channel. But speaking of such, let's, let's let me tell the story of how we got here, okay? So back a year ago, <laughs> but a year ago, I my health was not the best as it could be. I was I was in and out of the hospital. I was fresh out of a relationship. Um, it wasn't a bad relationship. Um, it was actually a really good relationship, which is what made you know, the breakup that much harder. It was a breakup I wasn't expecting and it was out of nowhere. And like I said, I was sick at the time. So I felt like everything was kind of laying on my shoulders. I felt like I had no relief. I had no, there was, there was no longer any joy. I had lost my light in my life. So uh, it was up to me to find it. You know, hey, your happiness is up to you. So I had to go find my happiness. So I went and found it. And I was talking to a coworker at work one day and they were like, well, why don't you just start a YouTube channel? Um, I've always been into makeup. It's always been a secret passion of mine. I've always been good at it and I've been doing it off and on since I was um, 18, but I started taking it seriously when I was around 21 and I'm 27 now, but I was just so afraid to start this YouTube channel. I'm like, people are going to laugh at me. No one's going to like my looks. No one is going to get my weird sense of style. Nobody's nobody's going to get me. You know, I was, I was, I don't know. I was, I was my own worst enemy. You know, you're, you're you're your own worst critic, you know, and and I was I was afraid of failure. So I was just sitting on the talent and not really doing anything with it. Well, one day in my many, many, many nights of insomnia while I was going through my life change, I said, you know what? I'm going to start I'm going to start a YouTube channel. And then I came with the the, you know, the. I can't get out what I'm trying to say. Look, then I had to think of what I was going to call my YouTube channel. And I thought, what represents me more than me? You see what I'm saying? Atara is my birth name. It means crown in Hebrew and hence my logo and my obsession with crowns. I figure, you know, it's better to actually get crowned instead of just plastering my name everywhere. You know, it's not that selfish when I do it that way, right? Um, so that is when um, Atara J Makeup was formed. I didn't want to have a stage name. I didn't want to have a name other than myself because I always wanted you to know that that's me. Um, if I would have made up a nickname or gone by my nickname, which is AJ, I felt like you wouldn't know that is Atara. I need you to always know it's Atara. It's like if Beyonce come out, you know, with something is going to be called Beyonce. That was a really terrible example because she came out with a hair care line that had nothing to do with her name. But, you know, um, her name still holds weight. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I wanted for myself. So that is what I created. Um, I started from the ground up. I started recording on my phone. I did not know how to edit. I was watching YouTube videos on how to do YouTube. <laughs> okay. Um, no one taught me how to do this. This was complete trial and error. And that's why I love it even more because it was trial and error and it was something I had to learn on my own. It was something I had to develop. I had to build this brown brand completely brown brand completely by myself. And I am so proud to say I have built all my baddie family, male, female, black, white, green, purple. I love you all. But I built this family on my own. I haven't had any shout outs, any sponsorship. I haven't paid for ads. This is just purely built off love and y'all's love for what I do. Now, all my looks aren't always understood. You know how the, the, the outside of the box artist, you know, Erica Badu, for instance, I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my, <laughs> okay. 
I feel the same way. And like I said, that was part of the reason why I did not want to start this channel. I was like, nobody's going to get this. No one's going to understand my point of view. Nobody's going to get what I'm trying to do. I don't want to be like every other makeup artist out there. I want to do the cutesy, the glitter, the glam, the glow, you know, but I also want to do art. I want to mix in different aspects. I want to mix in the real, no Photoshop, no editing, no fake. Um, you can do this on a budget. There are so many different aspects of this craft that I wanted to hit and that's why I knew it was time to stop being afraid and step out on faith so that's exactly what I did and a year later I have gone viral on this platform more times than I can remember and I'm, I'm not gonna I'm gonna try my best not to cry while doing this voiceover y'all but that is so surreal to me Thousands, thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people have sat and watched my work that I made from scratch with my hands and loved it. Very few people will understand what that's like. Musicians, artists, painters, um, other MUAs, dancers, comedians, skit makers, everyone. When, when you make it yourself and it succeeds... That's a different feeling. That's a different level of confidence, of fulfillment, of dreams coming true. And it makes you just want to keep going and going and going and going. And I'm often asked, they're like, Atara, you you have hundreds. I believe I have almost what, 300 videos on my platform within a year. There are people that have been on this platform for five years that have not done nearly that many videos but I just decided I'm gonna put it all out there if I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna put everything I have into it and so that's what I've done my get ready with me's are actual get ready with me's this is how I this is how I step out in the world this is how I'm going to work how I'm going to the grocery store how I'm going about my everyday life I want y'all to know every day of your life is an event Every day of your life, you you should dress up for you. There, There's no special moment. Stop saving that outfit for the right occasion. Put it on to go to get some dog food. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Life is what you make of it. And this journey has taught me things that I never thought. I never thought I would learn being a content creator. But... It's, it's it's surreal. I don't know. There's there's not many words I can use to describe it besides saying it's amazing. Watching yourself grow. I recently watched my very first YouTube video and I remember I was shaking. I saw parts in the video where my hands were I could not steady it. I couldn't I couldn't hold the makeup brush steady because I was so scared. I was I was nervous. Everybody's like, "Oh, it's hard. It takes years." I'm I'm not I'm patient, but I was afraid of that failure. I didn't have confidence in my skill yet, but it grew over time as well did my skill. I met some amazing people. I've I've changed some people's lives. I've made people's day better. If I've ever taught you anything or made you crack a smile, I feel like I've done my job. That's what I that's what I'm meant to do. If you don't know what you're meant to do, if you don't feel fulfilled, happy, overjoyed, if you're not excited to go to work, that's not what you're meant to do. I do this content creation funded at at this time. <laughs> that monetization is coming, right, y'all? Okay. But at this time, I fund this lifestyle completely off of my own pocket. I record these videos in my own time. I edit these videos in his own time. Everything on this channel is done by Atara J. I edit. I, f I cut. I create. I design. I do everything on my own. And that's not saying anything about people that have had help or, or are a team YouTube channel. But for me personally, this journey was personal. It was very, very personal. And I had to do this by myself. Girl, my dogs was all up in my face. But I had to do this by myself to learn what I needed to learn. All my life, I had been dependent on whether it be a man, my parents, 
Um, you know, I never really had to do it on my own. And it was time to do it on my own. I am a college educated woman, but that that didn't bring me the joy that I knew was in life. I knew it was possible. I knew it was there. So I went for it. I stopped being afraid. Can you imagine being afraid of being happy? Being afraid of succeeding? That's surreal, right? That's crazy, right? To hear somebody say that. That is completely crazy. But there I was, stuck. You know what I'm saying? Stuck. I was going to college because someone else wanted me to go. And of course, that college education will always be there and will always be something that, that I think people should have. But college isn't for everyone. Working a nine to five isn't for everyone. Find your road in this day and age in 2024. There are so many different avenues and shortcuts and ways you can go about making your life. We have so many more options that people 20 years ago did not have. So there is no reason why we should not be taking advantage of it. But from the very, very, very bottom of my heart, I want to thank everyone listening to the sound of my voice right now and say I welcome you to the baddie family and we're seriously I say this all the time but we're only going up from here y'all this is just the beginning can you believe that this is just the beginning we have so much more stuff to do so much more goals to raise so much more things to accomplish But I would have never thought that I would check off so many boxes on my list of things to accomplish within my first year. Just one year. It seems like yesterday that I was uploading my first short, scared, checking the views every five seconds. Like, oh my God, somebody made fun of it. Somebody said it was ugly. Somebody said this. Somebody said that. Just, it felt like yesterday. I now edit my videos and upload like, oh, they're going to love that one. I know what my bad is. Oh, yes, we're going to do this one. This is going to this is going to throw the loop. Oh, they're not ready for this different one right here. I'm so confident within my art now. And I never thought I would get there. Well, I was hoping I would get there, but I never really thought I was going to get there. But we're here. We made it. And to anyone, if there's something you want to do, go do it. Don't be afraid. If you're afraid of failure, you are failure. Ooh, somebody give me, give me some snaps. Child, yes, that was deep. <laughs> but, uh, but honestly, y'all, one year viral, over 500 subscribers, consistent views, consistent love, loving comments. I've had very, very few hate comments while I started this platform. I haven't had anything to make me cry, to make me want to quit, to make me alter what I want to do. So it's like, what were you afraid of? You were afraid of making it, girl. You were afraid of doing that thing. Okay. But not anymore. Not anymore. Now we are here. Now I know I'm on my path. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. This is where I see the light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> I ain't trying to die a little bit, but <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I just see, I see such a clear path and such a ray of sunshine shining bright down on me as I go along this journey with y'all. Now this is a makeup channel, but y'all know I am also very honest and, um, you know, open with y'all on this channel about things I go through about my depression about my breakups about my fun story times none of this stuff is scripted this is my life but my life I am putting out here on the forefront for for someone else to help somebody else to uplift somebody else to change someone's day mindset thinking some type of way any type of way I'm here to do that so one year down baddies one year down And baby, I got so much more for you. So much more. So make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next time.